But this is alcohol up at the top. And this is grade 7 to grade 12 students. And you see that about 48% of uh, grade 7 to 12 students have tried alcohol. You can see that things like cannabis, about 21% have said that they've tried alcohol, uh, tried cannabis. So this, this tells us that kids have exposure. They absolutely have exposure. We know from the literature that just say no does not work. It just doesn't work. But we also know that when kids have positive developmental assets, when kids are involved in physical activities, when they belong to the Boys and Girls Club, when they belong to the Y, when they belong to things at school, when they have a sense of meaning, it makes a huge difference. What can we do as parents is we can help steer them in that direction. We can help steer them in that direction, make things available to them. But the other backside of that is we also, because our kids are so driven to take risks, we need to create the opportunities for safe risk taking. Sometimes that takes the part um, in communities of them saying, we are going to create a skateboarding park for kids. Other communities you say, you see the skateboarding is banned. So as a community, you have to be thinking about what can we do to make sure that the best part of adolescence is actually being fulfilled. Here's a little video I want to show you that was made by adolescents about adolescents, I think. <coughs> is pleased to remind you that every man in human history, science, a discovery, and civilization was achieved with brains like the one you're using now. Your brain controls everything. The rest of you works under it. Click agree to continue. Never mind, your brain just clicked it for you. This upgrade takes approximately eight years to complete. It is recommended that you keep your brain on during this entire time. Removing your brain from its original container may void the license agreement. Exciting new features, more processing power, better connectivity, improved speed and stability. Your brain is now loading new modules and disposing of obsolete resources. To test the effectiveness of this upgrade, please stare at this screen and run the following information through your brain. Your brain tripled in size by age one and is fully grown at 18. It weighs close to three pounds, that's 1.36 kilograms. That's half the weight of all your skin. Your brain is three quarters water. It contains about 100 billion neurons. That's a million times a thousand times a hundred. And there are from 1,000 to 10,000 synapses for each neuron. All that brain power has enabled us to explore our planet, the solar system, and the universe beyond. Your brain can feel no pain. The rain in Spain stays mainly in the brain. Thinking makes your brain bigger. While awake, your brain can generate enough energy to power a light bulb. Yawning wakes up your brain. You're probably yawning now. Eating fish is good for your brain. Eating fish is bad for the fish. Men change their minds more often than women do. No, women change their minds more. No, men do. Sleeping helps your brain remember things. Everyone dreams. If you think you don't dream, you're dreaming. Learning new things changes your brain. Laughing uses five parts of your brain. Music lessons help organize your brain. Your brain performs 70,000 thoughts a day. Memorization grows your brain. Calculating. Congratulations, your upgrade to teenage brain version 12-20 is proceeding as scheduled. New upgrades will automatically download as they become available. Your brain is guaranteed for life and will not need replacement with normal wear. Brain is self-cleaning. Brainwashing not recommended. Avoid prolonged exposure to direct sunlight or harsh chemicals. Always operate brain in a well-ventilated area. Never attempt to service the brain yourself. For tech support and maintenance, consult an authorized service provider. This concludes this brain upgrade tutorial. Thank you for your purchase. Very 
good. So that's available at teenmentalhealth.org, you see down there, which is a fabulous resource if any of you are worried about uh, the mental health of your child. Uh, it's, a great, it's a great resource. So let me talk about one more concept and then I want to open the floor for uh, questions and, um, and comments. And the, the, uh, the concept is the one of stress. So we know that our kids are experiencing and reporting more stress now than they did in years gone by. I have, um, attended a, a mayor's breakfast in Hamilton and there was a young girl who was in grade 12 and she said, you know, people think of adolescence as a time of free spirit and, and everything going great. She said, but you know, it's really hard. We in grade 12 need to get really high marks. Um, 